we will get an introduction to Unix and the basic Unix commands. Before we jump right into Unix, let's think about what Unix commands do. What they do is they manipulate the computer and the contents of the computer. Therefore, if we double click on my computer and see what it contains, it contains several objects. A mobile device, floppy, new volume, local disk, a CD-ROM, a folder. Basically, these are all containers within this container of the computer. So the computer is a container that contain objects, and these objects in turn contain other objects. In this case, let's look at the action of looking inside my computer, inside the local disk C, inside of the folder data, inside of the folder downloads, and we see several other folders and icons of things that's not represented by this little yellow folder icon. These actual files that contain data. In this case, this is my resume. An old resume. So this is basically what we do with the windowing system in an operating system and Unix commands allow us to do almost all of these things but without the use of this window and other graphical elements. The manipulation of data or objects is accomplished by using commands. So if I wanted to get to see data downloads that contains this stuff, I could type cd change directory c data downloads. If I hit enter, I get an error message. No such file or directory. This is because the Sigwin Unix shell looks at locations differently from the Windows window. If I did that again, and I appended No, I did not get an error such as this. And if I type PWD to see where I am, it says I'm in SIG drive C data downloads. Notice the similarity. This is C data downloads. This is SIG drive C data downloads. This SIG drive, it's not important that you understand what it is right now, but it's just a SIGWIN entity that allows it to differentiate different parts of the file system. For now, just know anytime you would like to go to a path similar to what's in the window, you would append SIG drive in front of it like this. But more importantly, what I'd like you to focus on is the use of this command CD or change directory, followed by a actual address and PWD, a command to the computer that says print working directory or show me where I am right now. Here's another command, ls, and it shows several objects of which one is resume.doc, which is similar. So we see we've actually arrived at the same location. And uh, that's it for this video. Uh, the main thing I would like you to take away from here is one of the key things that you do on the command line, on the Unix command line, 
is you use commands such as cd, change directory, pwd, print working directory, ls, list, to change where you are on the file system or what part of the computer you're looking at give you information about where you are and show you the contents of a particular folder or place in the system and the equivalent would be clicking buttons double clicking buttons and navigating in the Windows world this should give you an idea of one thing that can be done with the Unix command line. It was actually invented before this windowing system was available and for many many reasons it has survived and um, has even thrived up till today. So that's it for this introduction to the Unix command line.